Having slept through all four of her alarms, the energetic Narumi Momos finds herself running late for her first day of work at a new office. As she races to catch her train, she makes a promise to herself that none of her co-workers will find out about her dark secret that she is an otaku and a fujoshi. Her plan goes instantly awry, though, when she runs into Hiro Takami Fuji, an old friend from middle school. Although she tries to keep her secret by inviting him out for drinks after work, her cover is blown when he casually asks her whether or not she will be attending the upcoming summer komaket. Luckily for her, the only witnesses Hanako Koyanagi and Taru Kabakura are otaku as well. Later that night, the pair go out for drinks so that they can catch up after all the years apart. After Narumi complains about her previous boyfriend breaking up with her because he refused to date a Fujoshi, Hirotaka suggests that she try dating a fellow otaku, specifically himself. He makes a solemn promise to always be there for her, to support her, and to help her farm for rare drops in Monster Hunter. Blown away by the proposal, Narumi agrees immediately. Thus, the two otaku start dating, and their adorably awkward romance begins. This is the story of two otaku middle school friends who met after a long time while working for the same company. While the female lead tries to hide that she is an otaku, especially Fujoshi, which means she enjoys fictional gay content. And our male lead is a game otaku. He likes to play games all the time. Due to her hobby, she can't find any boyfriends who can stay with her in a long relationship, and she is sad about it. One day, while drinking with a male lead, she told him about this, and he said why she doesn't date an otaku, especially him. This marks the start of the love story between two otaku couples. Their relationship starts on an awkward note, but as time goes on, both develop romantic feelings for each other. They started to enjoy each other's company and started falling in love. One day, while drinking with a male lead, she told him about this, and he said why she doesn't date an otaku, especially him. This marks the start of the love story between two otaku couples. Their relationship starts on an awkward note, but as time goes on, both develop romantic feelings for each other. They started to enjoy each other's company and started falling in love. There is also a second otaku couple of friends with a male lead who works in the same company as them and is the only one to know their secret. This anime focuses on love between the couples, their hardships, their hobbies, and how they solve their daily problems while enjoying each other's company. This anime has very well-written characters, whether they are the main leads or the supporting characters. Everyone has their own hardships and helps each other to solve the problems. The animation is good, as this is a romantic story rather than an action anime. The theme is light and sensual, and you will love watching it. There are many emotions in this anime, like comedy, romance, and the entire otaku culture. This anime is light-themed and a good watch for someone who wants to watch a simple and heartwarming story. As for rating, this anime is 8 to 8.2 from my side. You can watch this anime to relax, and I can say it will be worth your time. Thank you for watching this video. Signing off Lazy Animer. Like. To watch more, subscribe.